Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. We are back in Project Astro Dominium. Oh man, I'm just checking out our factory area. And I noticed we might be able to send drones over from these different ports here. Kinda cool. Yeah, they have some vehicles. We'll see. Hopefully we'll see what that's all about. So yeah, maybe I don't need to just have all my senders and receivers hugging this wall. Um, it looks like we'll be able to access these other kind of drone ports, I guess, later. Um, let's get back to it. We've got an objective here um, in the bottom left of the screen. I don't think we're going to do that one right away. Um, if we look at our quest book, what can we do? We've got a couple more manual crafting objectives I think we might be able to do. Craft two drone pod requesters. Let's do that one. Drone pod requester takes 20 stone for each one, four iron ingots and two copper. We've got it. So do two of these. Get that crafting. Eight seconds isn't bad. And then we can actually go and get ready to claim our reward here. Boom, it's done. What do we get? Three more drones for that one. We'll take it. And craft two drone pod senders. I don't think we have enough to do that, but we'll try. Drone pod senders. Yeah, I can't even do one of those. Um, here's the, some of the factory components that we can build. We need aluminum and copper cable. Build an assembler, smelters, storage, simple storage building. Items placed in this building won't show up in your global inventory. Okay. Copper ingots, cargo crates, interesting. Let's do a couple things. I wanna check on this smelter. Okay, there's the recipes for the smelter. So we're, we've got those three things automated already. The ingots for copper and iron and the cut stone. I wanna put down an assembler and then we're gonna to go to battle here in a minute. Um, the factory building. Factories. I'm just curious what the recipes are in this guy. So we'll let that drop down. We can delete that and not lose it. But I'm just curious to see, is there stuff that we could be automating? Uh, select recipes. Doesn't look like it. Looks like this is all, I mean, as far as like processing raw resources, looks like this Oh, well. Oh, no, this is for crafting this high explosive ammunition. Again, I'm not sure if we need multiples of this or not. Let's, um, yeah, I was looking to see if we could make aluminum, really. It doesn't look like we can. We're going to have to, I guess, unlock that later. Cargo crates. Can we make cargo crates? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, aluminum and steel. All right, let's go to battle. I guess I'll delete that thing for now. Boom. Let's go back to battle mode. And I want to clear out this Ralph Witov place. Let's uh, go to attack. I spent all my upgrade points. All right, so we get a new map. Let's see what this one's all about. It's like they're going to come up here to get to my tower. And then they're going to come from two sides, which makes sense. There's the first side on the left. And just about a mirror image on the right, looks like. Yeah, those look to be mirror images. So let's, um, let's see where we want to put our towers. Oh, man. Now, these towers up here near our defense are near where we're going to get attacked. They're not bad, but they don't sh reach very far. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. The first wave... The first wave may not give us enough points to build another turret. So if I spend all my money and protect the left side, next round they might be coming from the right side and I won't have enough money to build more turrets. So we gotta kind of pay attention to both, unfortunately. Let's build something. All right, I'm gonna put gun tower there. I'm gonna put 
gun tower here. And I'm going to put gas up here, right? I guess we just kind of have to do it. Put the two gun towers here. Because whatever side they're going to come through, these two turrets will be able to, I guess, take shots at them. Um, those are really the... And then I guess this middle turret. I'm going to probably try and use the that new turret, the railgun, here in the middle. We'll see that in action. Let's go ahead and hit start wave. We'll go to... We can go four times, probably. Here they come. We've seen these little buddies before. Oh, man, I don't know that I have enough turrets to fight all these guys off. I'll slow it down to two times. We might be in trouble. Look at that. Oh, man. We'll see. See. Yeah, we're not accumulating many points for these guys. They don't give us much. Oh, yeah, they're going to get through. At least this first round, looks like. Oh, man, we made it. We made it. Oh, see what I'm saying? So we don't have, we have 40 points. I can't buy anything. And now they're going to come in from that side. So it's good we did put that turret down. Let's start this wave and keep our fingers crossed. These guys should give us more points. In fact, um, right here is where I want to put our rail gun. So once we get to 100 points or 100 coins, let's do that. Oh man, look at all these guys coming and I just don't have many turrets. This is going to be a little dubious. I'm going to go down to one point as soon as we get close to 100. We've still managed to fight them all off. They haven't attacked our power yet. Okay, I'm going down to one time speed. I'm going to get ready to drop a railgun tower as soon as we get to 100. Boom. These guys, I believe, can one, sh one shot the um, tougher enemies. Okay, that guy, boy, sure looked like he got through, but I still have 20 health points. Okay, we can speed up to at least two times speed now. This has a long reload time. All right, we made it through two waves. We've got 40 coins. Uh, before we start the next wave, where do I want to put my next turret? Probably, probably over here. Once we get to 75, we'll do that. Keep it on two times speed for now. Someone come from that side. They're all coming from over here. It's going to be a while before they actually get to the guns. But I think my next turret's going to be maybe right here. As soon as we get to 75. 70, 74. There we go. Not going to help in this round. Still haven't made it to my little tower. And we end that round with 25 coins. Let's go ahead and start the next wave. Coming from both sides this time. I guess the next turret will be right here. Where we could save up and do upgrades, but I hmm. Upgrades cost 150. It's twice the cost of a turret. These railguns are good against the big enemies, but they have a recharge every single shot they fire. Let's give this guy a gun tower. Thirty-four coins. Oh man, take this guy out. Tempted now, maybe to save up for an upgrade. Let's wait till we get to I think an upgrade in these guys actually. 150. Yeah, let's try and save up to 150. Uh could probably speed this up four times. Let's let him go here. Okay, start wave.
Coming from the left this time. this one once we get to 150 boom so that guy just got another barrel on his gun start wave six this time we got to complete eight waves in order to kind of get the objective that first objective cleared we get the bonus items I'll gonna upgrade this turret next this one next to our tower I get to 150. Boom. Take it. So now the tower is pretty well protected. But we still have two more waves after this. Okay, that's done. I've got room or I got cash for another turret. Let's, hmm, do we want to do it or do we want to upgrade? These made sense to upgrade because no matter what side they come from, these guys have a shot. Uh, it's not the case over here. I think we should just throw down another turret. Let's um do it here. Start wave six. I can't zoom out any further than I am. Keep it at four times speed. Uh, next turret, I guess, would go over here and we'll just kind of do this mirror image as we get up to 75. I guess we can wait. Yeah, those guys are done. I think I'm going to put it over here. Just a regular cheap turret. We'll start wave, or is this wave eight? Yeah, this might be wave eight right here. Got more coins. Let's do upgrades over here on these guys. Boom. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. Nice. All right, continue. Uh, we unlock some new things. A laser tower. Railgun upgrade, it looks like. Ammunition upgrade kind of thing. EMP projectile. Inducting rail. Interesting. Big capacitor. Looks like a factory component. Ooh, the ability to make copper cable. Aluminum ingots. Yeah, we were looking at that. I was wondering where that was. And steel. Uncommon package. Copper cable. So this will allow us to ship copper cable back to earth for upgrades. Uh, same thing with aluminum and steel. All right, got a bunch of stone, we got a bunch of copper, we got a bunch of iron. All of those are being processed as we speak in our factory. Uh, we now have bauxite, which is new, and we have coal, I think we already had. We'll have to see what to do with coal. Um, and then we got some bonus items, a couple skill points. Go back to the base. So there goes our drones doing their thing to grab the new resources, get this processed. Um, can I automate? Let's look at the quest book. Looks like we completed something. Oh, did I not claim this? 500 enemies? Oh yeah, I did. Maybe the first one was 250. Or maybe I forgot to claim this. Let's grab it. Either way, we'll take it. Uh, 2500. 25 iron ingots, we're getting real close. Copper ingots, same thing. Aluminum ingots, there's no manual crafting objective on that. I wonder if we can automate that now. We do have aluminum in inventory, let's check. Oh, we did bauxite, right? Is it, where are you? Bauxite, 58. Let's see if we can set up another smelting setup for that. Um, factory. Requester. It might make sense to be in this other camera mode. Yeah, top down. 
Man, the scrolling is so fast. I turned it down all the way, but it's still super fast. Down a smelter. I should have put that down first just to make sure we can even do it. Looks like we can. Uh, aluminum up top. Can I set the recipe before it's even built? Looks like maybe I can. See if it kept it. Yeah, it did. Aluminum ingots. Okay, we just need belts. Boom. And boom. Nope. Boom. Boom. And a couple inserter grabbers. We're running out of these, by the way. There, and you there. And I need to set this guy to bring me bauxite. Uh, we'll give you two drones to do it. Is that all you need? No, you need coal too. Oh no. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We need coal in order to make the aluminum. I think I can only request one item at a time out of these guys, these requesters. So we're gonna have to put another one down. Oh, think could be missing something here. But let's do coal. Oops. There we go. Uh, you're gonna bring me coal. We'll just keep doing two drones. Eventually, I'm going to need to send assign more drones to here, this output one. Uh, and I guess this time it's just a belt, right? I think one belt would do it, too. Let's see, can I get you to... What about... That. <laughs> I can't control the direction um, unless you click and drag, I think. That might be enough. Do I have two grabbers? I don't. I only have one grabber. Need another grabber here to feed this smelter. Let's see if we can build a grabber yet. Uh, just manually. Roll down here. Grabber. Oh, no, we can't. I need gear wheels. Can I make a gear wheel? I can. Let's craft up. Let's craft up 10 of those. And then we'll do a grabber. And then that should allow us to automate the aluminum. Um, steel, I'm guessing steel takes iron and coal, right? Probably. We'll take a look at that recipe in a minute. Boom. Okay, there's our gears. Grabber, no, we're in good shape. In fact, let's do... Let's do three of these. We know we're going to use them. We're going to fight and get more resources. This will allow us to get um, some aluminum smelting, I hope. Where might you be? I need a grabber. So, building. Logistics. Grabber. This way. Hopefully that's going to work. Then we can start smelting up some aluminum, I hope. I hope, I hope that's going to work. Is it? That looks like we're good. Yeah, the smelter just kicked on. I like it. What about steel? See what the recipe for that is. Um, actually, is it kind of smelter? I don't think. Oh, yeah, steel. Currently set to aluminum. Steel is going to be iron and coal. Right, so, hmm. Iron and coal, there's probably a better way to arrange this. I've got coal in here. I can pull that out. Let's see, thinking, thinking, thinking. Do I even have smelters? Uh, let's see, do. Ooh, that'll work. Coal. Let's put down the smelter. Uh, let's grab a grabber. Might not be able to finish this one. Yeah, we're going to need two more grabbers that <laughs> I don't have. Oh, man. 
Yeah, we want to do steel. Make sure you hit select, otherwise it won't take. And then I wanted to do another um, iron grabber here, or a requester. Oh man, can I do that? Um, bear with me. I see an optimization here. See an optimization. Let's do this. Um, we're going to request the iron. Boom. We're going to assign a couple drones. And we're going to delete some stuff. I think what we can do is move this smelter up. Let's get the bulldozer out. You and all of you can go. In fact, you can go too. And let's move our smelter up between the two storages that it needs to pull from. Uh, that means these two guys go bye-bye. New smelter. This is going to be our aluminum smelter. So aluminum, hit select. Bauxite and coal. Got the bauxite coming in over here. Should have two grabbers left now. I have more than two. I'm going to need more than two. There's aluminum coming in. There's our, our, aluminum, our bauxite ore coming in. This is aluminum coming out to the belt. How am I doing on belts? It's 32. They gave us a good amount to start with. Click and drag and click. Um, now I need to get coal into this guy too. So another grabber. Coal coming into aluminum production. Boom, just like that. And then we got coal coming into the steel production. This is our new iron requester. So we're going to bring iron into the steel smelter. And then there's our output of steel ingots to the output belt. And let's make sure this is selected. Steel is selected. Um, this guy has two drones. This guy has two drones. Let's see, I kind of want to see him first steel ingot hit the uh, hit the output belt and aluminum actually too. Do I, am I out of smelters or something? Mm, it might be. Yeah, this is not getting built. There's no one coming to build it. It shows I have a smelter. Hmm, is that a bug? Why is that guy not being built? Any ideas? Let's bulldoze and rebuild. Mm, a little nervous about that. Oh, maybe I have to clear these or something. Shouldn't. Let's try and place a smelter down. See if our... Here comes our construction ship. Come on, plunk that thing down. Okay, that looks good. Back to aluminum. Okay, it looks like the inserters are doing their thing. That guy's fired up. And gotta think those are aluminum ingots. Iron ingots, aluminum ingots. We're in good shape. We need steel, though. I do the wrong recipe, steel. What am I missing here? Don't see steel coming out of this, right? Two iron and two coal. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. Uh, hit select again. Is that going to do it? In comes the coal. This guy's not firing. I have a feeling it's this inserter is bad. Let's take that one up. One right here, because it had something on it. Grab her. Construction ship. Yep, here it comes. Down we go, boom. Just want to see our first steel get produced. 
Come on. Toy requester. Iron ore. Here comes some iron ore. Steel. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, you need iron ingots. Mm, my bad. My bad, not iron ore. Okay, I think we got to get rid of all this. My bad. My bad. But I can maybe request that. Can I request iron ingots? Check it out. That may solve our problem right there. Yeah, I was thinking it was iron ore and coal for the steel. It's not. It's iron ingots and coal. Let's see if that resets. We've got it set to iron ingots now. The inserter might have be holding on to iron ore, so let's clear the inserter and start it over or uh, rebuild it. Um, bulldozer. This little guy is the one I'm talking about. Grabber. Try again. I have a feeling this one's going to do what we want. Boom. Boom. There it goes. Just fired up. Awesome. Um, this time, let's actually keep some iron ingots in inventory. So let's keep 15 iron ingots in inventory so they don't get brought over here and turn into steel just in case we need them. And I think that's all we need to do. All right, time to go fight. We figured all that out. So we got steel, aluminum, copper, iron, and bricks. I mean, uh, stone, cut stone all automated. Uh, looks like we completed some objectives. 25 iron ingots is done. Let's do that for two upgrade points and some bonus iron and two drones. Copper ingots is done. Two more drones, two more points. We'll take it for sure. Aluminum's underway. Steel is underway. Um, we could try to craft these two drone pod senders. Let's see. I don't know if we have the resource to do it. Drone pod sender. Yeah, we can do this, I think. Let's get that knocked out. Boom, should get some something, some goodies. Three more drones. And we got the two drone pod senders, which we're probably gonna need eventually. A common resource package manual. We just need to do one, see if we can do that. Common resource package. Copper, looks like we have a lot of copper. Maybe common resource package, copper. We need a cargo crate. It says I have them. Can I just do this? Boom. Looks like I can. They must have given us these cargo crates. I don't remember making those. All right. We got that objective done. Easy peasy. In fact, all of our manual crafting objectives are now done. We'll get it. Three more drones. Awesome. I like it. I like it. I like it. That's all going. Um, let's go spend our upgrade points here. We have 10. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? Um, the railgun tower. This one, the biggest issue with this one is its recharge time is so slow, but I don't think there's an upgrade for it. Increase physical and electrical damage with railgun projectiles. You can see what it does there off to the on the right side of the screen. Gives us plus four. It's like maybe kinetic damage and one percent electric. This looks like three kinetic and then a piercing. Increase the rotation speed. Increase the electrical piercing damage. And reduce the build cost. 
Uh, I think I might stick with this tower and just try our basic tower since it's cheap and see if we can do some more upgrades on this guy. Let's do another point of damage. Let's increase the range quite a bit. Um, it'll give him more shots on the enemy. We'll do two on the Re reducing the reload time. Let's do the firing rate by two. And then one more on damage. How's that? We spent all the upgrade points. The last thing we could look at doing is this. Um, I think there's some upgrades we can do for the railgun tower that we might be able to build. Let's look at the manual crafting for that. Gun tower, Vulcan cannon tier. Oh, that's all advanced stuff. Can't do that upgrade. Uh, this one we could do. What is this ammo tier one? Armor piercing ammo that can be equipped by the gun tower. I'm wondering if you only get one or the other of these. Let's build it and find out. Let's build it and find out. Um, ammo tier one, gunpowder. I think we can build one of these. Let's do it. Gunpowder, we might look at automating soon, too. That's all crafted. Now if we go to... Not you. This guy. Or a real gun tower. Can I drop... Oh, no, I... My bad. My bad. Back to the regular gun tower. No. No. Yeah, so we have an option. We can do this guy or the other one. That high explosive. I think the high explosive is actually better because we have those two enemies that kind of walk in pairs and then they take splash damage. So I'm just going to leave it the way we've got it set and let's go to battle. Boom. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, we need to fight off these guys two more times. To get a reward. Where is it? Yeah. Ralph, we tov, we need to kill off two more times. So let's do that. Go to battle. Boom, we'll just stay on normal. And we'll kind of do what we did before. Oh, wait a second. Did I pick the wrong place? I did. Travis. Oh, no. That's all right. We'll whip through this real quick. Um, how were we doing this one before? I think. Velvet Tower. Uh, let's try the laser one just for the heck of it. It's 125. And then I don't have enough for this gun tower. Let's uh, go ahead and start the wave. We'll get some extra resources from this. I didn't mean to go fight here. Just forgot to pick the bright planet. Uh, four times is probably good. Here's their laser tower. Boom, kind of burns those guys off. Next round. Didn't quite get 75. This will be our next tower here, so I'm just going to stay on there. Next. Okay, those guys all got killed off. I might, um, let's not up, not put turrets here just for the heck of it. Let's try a different strategy. Let's see if we can upgrade these two. Uh, we need, what, 150 though to get them upgraded. Since these two can hit every enemy coming through, maybe... Ooh, I don't know about that. Oh, well, I'm doing it. Okay, this is wave six. We should be in good shape. All right. 
continue. Um, yeah, continue. So yeah, we got some resources there. Back to base. And now we're gonna go fight where we wanted to. We we need to take these guys out two more times, right? Ralvutov. Let's do it. Ralvutov to attack. Yeah, yeah, this is the one we wanted to do. We got 300, we're gonna do kind of the same strategy. I'm gonna put one of you there. 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 And there. Start the wave, we'll go four times. Yeah, see how they come in pairs? I think that splash damage is better than the armor piercing for our gun towers. All right, next wave. I think we'll do gun tower here next once we get to 150 or 75 coins. Yeah. yeah, they still haven't made it through. Ooh, might be in a little trouble here. Guys reloading. Oh man, just made it. Uh, next turret's gonna be over here, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this area. 75, I'm just gonna do it. I know I don't have anybody coming from that side right now, but we will. All right, next wave. Let's get it going. Next turret. Just debating whether to do upgrades on these two. Or throw down more turrets. I guess I'll throw down more turrets. Those guys are done. Next, I think I'll upgrade the ones by the tower. We've got two turrets on that side, two turrets on the right side, two turrets leading up the ramp, and two turrets up here. I think we'll upgrade these guys next. Let's go. Gonna take 150 to get the upgrade. That round was pretty easy. Round six. Coming at us from both sides this time. Yeah, I can upgrade one of these. Let's do it. Enough to upgrade this side. I'm going to do it. I don't have much problem with these guys. Next. Um. Well, yeah, where to spend the money next? I guess I'll just throw down turrets. We could upgrade these. Maybe we'll do that. Upgrade these guys here. Last wave. Give this guy an upgrade. Little guys on the left and big guys on the right. So I could throw an upgrade on that one.
Awesome. Continue. We got our rewards back to base. I think we need one more. We got to defeat that one more time. Hey, we got a thousand enemies. Good for five upgrade points. We'll spend those before the next battle. Yeah, we got to do Ralvitov one more time. Let's go spend our upgrades. Meanwhile, our factory is producing all the resources or processing everything that we've gotten. Um, let's see. Railgun. Do we want to invest in the railgun or do we want to skip the railgun and invest in the laser? Let's see what the lasers got. I played a little bit before recording this series and the laser is kind of weak. Can we kick up the damage on this? Heat damage. Okay, reload and rotation speed together. Piercing. Let's try to invest in this. This is a more expensive tower. Ooh. Let's try it. Um, let's go. One for the reload speed. We'll give a piercing damage too. We'll just try and make use of that tower. Um, I have not used it heavily. So we got one more battle on Ralvitov. I don't know how to pronounce that. In we go. Um, most comfortable with the gun towers up here. So I'm going to stick with those. Uh, I'm going to do gun towers here and here. Let's get I think I'm going to do the rail gun here. I kind of like that. That's a one shot on the tough enemies. And then maybe we'll try doing the lasers. We're here at these points. Okay, we can kick it up to four times speed. This first one is always tough. You just don't have that many weapons down. It's always a little spooky how many are making it up the ramp. Like these two. Oh, man. Okay, we made it. We got 40 points. We need... What's our next upgrade? This guy, we probably want the railgun upgrade first, so we need 100 points for that, and then we can pop that one down. All right, wave two. These guys have not much, or neither side has anybody attacking them until they get to the ramp, basically. Oh, it's a little spooky. Oh, oh man. We're gonna move. They're doing the job. They're doing the job. All right. One more point. There we go. Now I got the rail gun. That'll help. No one got through. We still have 20 health points. That guy has a little bit of reload time. All right. What's next? What's next is we want to try the laser turrets over here. 125 for those. Oof. A little pricey. We'll see if we can do it. Kind of want to try those out. Boy, it's hard though. <laughs> I'd like to throw down a bunch of the cheap turrets because it's so hard watching these guys be able to walk so far with no problems. All right, we got a hundred. We need 125 for that laser turret, right? Yep. Off we go, wave four. I don't know which side to put it on. The numbers, they're coming in greater numbers here and fast. These guys are a little slow. I'm thinking maybe this is where we want it to start the laser tower. I'm gonna keep focused on this. Boom, there it goes. Well, too late to help us this round. These towers up, these, um, turrets up near our tower are great until they have to reload. Then we're in trouble. They take a second to reload like that guy. Okay, we're going to get to 125. That would be awesome. Perfect. Let's put a laser down here. We'll see how that holds up for us. Um, maybe the next upgrades are these turrets by the tower. Wave five. See how the laser does with these guys. It's trying. 
It's only getting one, though. They're, it looks like they're coming through kind of strong, right? Too much problem though. Not sure about the lasers. We'll invest more just to play with it. Uh, the upgrades are probably expensive on these guys. Yeah, 250. I think I might upgrade these guys next. Uh, or we could put the, the little turrets down. Maybe we've got what? More, let's put a little turret here, a regular gun turret. Start the wave. Maybe another gun turret over here. Laser on that side takes down these guys down about half, right? Recharge. I do one. Let's get another turret there. This is wave six. We got two more waves. Yeah, these two are working together pretty good. Holding these guys back. Kinda like it. Kinda like it. We got 124. Oh, this guy has made it through. Thought we were done. 130. We're gonna upgrade these two by our tower next. Two more waves. Guys are all coming in from the left, it looks like. That guy an upgrade. <clears throat> Again, I don't think it's worth saving the, the cash. Can't really use it for anything. Easy. All right, last wave. I don't know if I can upgrade this one. Yeah, we should be golden. Getting a bunch of resources coming in over on the top left of the screen. You can see them. Got 155 stone. A bunch of copper and coal. Iron, I'm sure, down here somewhere. Yep. Yeah, we're in good shape. Done. Victory. Now, if we wanted to, we could go into this endless mode. If I clicked endless, I'm not going to do it now because we're going to wrap up this episode here, but if I clicked on endless mode, we would be able to keep doing waves and it'll continue doing waves and you'll harvest a bunch of resources up until you have ultimately and inevitably you're going to die. But you get all your resources, you get the victory condition. Um, it's just a way to harvest more resources. We have what we need right now. So I'm just going to hit continue. Uh, we already cleared this level twice before, but we got a bunch of resources. Um, back to base. We should have a new objective done in our quest in our quest book. Excuse me. Uh, there it is. Clear level Rav <laughs> Rav Uh It's good for five skill points. That's worth it. So we can upgrade our towers with that. Let's do that now. Meanwhile, our factory is going to start producing all those resources. For us. Ooh, yeah, this is backing up. Let's um put a couple more drones. We can put a lot more drones on. This um sender. And by having them close here, that should move pretty quick to get that emptied out. Yeah, hopefully. Looks like it's gonna catch up. All right, not bad. Let's, um, oh, we got another objective, Matt. Lunar Mingots, we'll take it. Good for two skill points and a few drones. Hey, Matt. Busting through these, this is nice. And then I want to spend my upgrades before I forget. We have nine points. We said we wanted to lean into the laser tower a little bit. Uh, we didn't unlock any new towers, so let's do it. Let's give this guy what? Range would not be bad. How about a couple points on range at least? A couple points on that damage. 
couple points on that damage. One point on reload. Fire damage plus three, piercing plus one. Let's do more fire damage on this guy. Can we do these? Increase the rotation and the heat piercing. Rotation plus two. I do no, I can't do that until I exhaust all those. That makes sense. Um got two more skill points. How about one more on the range and one more on the damage there. And then yeah, we'll call it an episode here. Awesome. Yeah, the factory's turning away. It's a simple little factory. Maybe I imagine it's gonna get more complex. We got all this room. <laughs> We've got tons of room, and I'm using like three square inches. But uh, yeah, our guys are processing all the ore. That's it for this one for Analysis of Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series on Project Astro Dominium. Again, all the links are in the description, team page, Discord, all that good stuff. If you join the Discord, let them know I sent you. That'll help my channel. And if you decide to pick up this game, let me know in the comments. Curious to hear how many people are going to pick up this game. It's pretty darn cool. There's quite a lot of stuff going on, as you've seen. But yeah, I want to thank Gladdercat patrons and channel members for their support. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. You are enjoying this series as well. And with that, I'll see you all in the next episode.